Hi everyone, this is a surgeon Shibli from University of Soma. I am a, I'm a linguist, not a surgeon. However, I use the word surgeon because the lecture will be about the brain. In this short video, we will talk about neurolinguistics. So let's jump straight to the topic. Neurolinguistics is uh, the study of neurological mechanisms uh, underlying uh, the storage and the processing of language. It's a subfield of uh, linguistics, primarily concerned with the biological basis uh, of the, to the relationship between a human language and the brain. Neurolinguistics has its roots in the development of uh, aphasiology in the 19th century, which is the study of uh, language deficit aphasia caused by brain damage. The work of Broca and Wering established the field of aphasiology and the idea that language can be studied by examining the physical characteristics of the brain. However, the coining of this term has been attributed to Harry Whittaker who founded the Journal of Neurolinguistics in 1985. The brain is composed of cerebrum, cerebellum, and the brain stem. Let's explain them one by one. Cerebrum is the brain's largest part and comprises the right and left hemispheres. It performs higher functions, such as interpreting touch, vision, hearing, learning, speech, uh, reasoning, and controlling uh, fine motor movements. Cerebellum is located un under the cerebrum. Its function is uh, to cooperate muscle movements and maintain posture and balance. The brain stem is a relay station that links the uh, cerebrum and cerebellum to the spinal cord. It performs numerous, uh, numerous automatic functions, including uh, hearing, heart rate, body temperature, coughing, uh, wake and sleep cycles, vomiting, coughing, sneezing, and swallowing. Once again, we will talk about cerebrum and its division. It's divided into two halves, the right and the left hemispheres. Each hemisphere controls uh, the opposite side of the body. For example, if a stroke occurs on the right side of the brain, the left arm or leg may be weak or paralyzed. In general, the brain's left hemisphere is responsible for language and speech. That is called the dominant hemisphere. Thank you for your watching. To show your support, please click like and write a comment below. Definitely your support will be much valued